working on a demonstration of best spring baits. I think the best place to start is with egg sacs because I usually fish egg sacs whenever I start a trip, especially in the what I call spring is every time I go fishing after the ice is gone and the water is open. So that starts February through May. But the egg sacs can be just plain sacks, no floaters, sack with a floater inside, different colors, same basic presentation. You can use them under a float. I mean, everyone does that. Everyone's got all kinds of floats they use different ways to get the get the bait into a place we can catch some fish use the float just enough weight get the bait to sink down to the fish's level the other way I fish them in the spring especially in high dirty water is to bump the bottom I bump the bottom in a number of ways <clears throat> sometimes I I use a slip sinker rig um, I'm not quite sure how this is showing up but what you've got is you've got a sliding weight on your main line. You've got a bead to keep from jumping over top of your swivel. And then you've got a, a piece of fluorocarbon leader that goes from the swivel down to the hook. It could be anywhere from 6 inches to 24 inches depending on the, the depth of the fish where they're holding, how close you want to be to the bottom. The dirtier the water, the shorter the leader. Usually about 6 inches is right a foot somewhere in that range but this works basically what happens is your weight your sliding weight will take it to the bottom put the floater inside it will float up and then because of the current it pushes it down near the fish fish take the bait they don't feel the weight you feel the fish hook up the other thing I like to use is jigs different colors green and white with a gold head same thing in brown and white usually start with the green sometimes use the brown green and white seems to be a better bait the other one I, I do well on is fishing a black and white jig black on the bottom well actually it would be the top because when jig rides in the water, rides in the water like this with the black on top and the white or belly on the bottom. Everybody fishes soft plastics. I like the soft plastics and smelt and emerald shiner, but different people fish different colors. The type of jig I use that I make myself is a it's called a copperhead as far as the color. It's got a little bit of a stay on it to keep the jig from sliding off. Basically, you run that puppy into the jig, turn it around, put it in place. It's pretty much the way you fish it in the water. Works great. When the fish hits it, you get a hookup. No doubt about it. Those are the two colors I like the best. There's lots of colors, lots of types of plastics, lots of lengths. I like the two and a half inch. Some guys go to three most of the time. It doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. Jig heads. I got a variety of colors. And I power paint. Of course, the white and the black what they call a, a gold but it doesn't look quite gold to me the copperhead I was telling you about and the chartreuse depending on what kind of a jig you're either tying or what type of a soft plastic you're going to put it on and that would determine the kind of color you'd want to use the other thing that I fish in the spring is single eggs. King eggs, coho eggs, treated or not, but then cooked. And I got information back in the background 
we're creating single eggs so they have a nice what I call a orange pearl color to them and they're translucent not white but translucent you can actually see the light through them you start with the good eggs eggs that you know were not mistreated in other words once they came out of the fish they were on ice so they didn't start to spoil you're going to create single eggs by starting with two cups of distilled water one cup of the eggs ready to treat 10 milliliters of muriatic acid that forms your bath so you create the fluid the liquid the bath put the eggs in hit a timer 15 minutes should be about as much as you need but all eggs are different at about 11 10 or 11 minutes in I usually start to test the eggs to see if I can get an egg hook in it bleeds juice it doesn't come off if the egg starts to get too hard inside almost like a thick jelly that's not bad necessarily but you'd want to stop it just before that and you certainly don't want them to go to white you don't want them to go to bone hard because they won't stay on the hook and you won't catch fish with them the other thing you're going to need in the spring is a lot of different floats different conditions big float long cast all those types of things to make a difference at the end of this video there's a little bit of a slide that talks about the need to sign up for the YouTube channel I need to get a thousand subscribers I'm almost there I need 69 more so if you know someone or if you can subscribe to the channel pretty easy and then you'll get a notification whenever I do another video I hope this helps you catch some fish. In a week or so, I'm going to go out and test some of the things I've been talking about. Thanks for watching.